I guess lambing has officially, officially started. Good morning, it's Friday, it's early. Jack didn't get my smart lights on, so this is gonna be a surprise just like you guys. So let's go see what we're dealing with this morning. Slow. I hear babies, I hear babies, I hear babies, I hear babies that aren't yours. Good morning, no. Okay, I gotta go. So she has not lambed yet. Good to know. Do you guys hear that? <gasps> Another set of triplets. Hi, Mom. What are you doing all by yourself? What are you doing all by yourself? You guys, little runners again. Is this yours? Good morning. <laughs> Look at you guys. Good morning. I guess lambing has officially, officially started. Two sets of triplets. This is, I think this is gonna be a busy one. You're so cute. They are lively. All right, we'll get them moved and uh, keep going. You guys, stop running for mommy. Stop running away. Hard to look after triplets, eh, Mom? Yeah. Let's see if you have milk. Yep. Yep. Oh, that's You're off with you. Squawky, though. Did you have a drink, Dad and Mom? Nice big brownies for chips. So, uh, Mom doesn't have a like a a ton of milk to actually make a bottle out of it. So I think I might just mix up some colostrum, some powdered colostrum and just make sure they got some. I think they've been drinking because they're all dry, so they were probably born through the night. Yeah, they're all dry. Hey, baby. But I don't like how squawky they are, so she just might not 100% be in her milk yet. So I am going to just top them off. These guys are doing good, though. So cute. Here's my colostrum. So I'm just gonna make sure they had some. That's all I'm doing is topping them up. I don't like how squawky you guys are. Hey baby. Can you see here? Okay. Oh, you're feisty though. It's a good sign.
They don't always have to be the biggest clams in the world as long as they've got some it's got some vigor. It makes me happy. No? Oh, I drank like 100 mils. Holy. That was quick. Alright, let's get you. What are you doing? Just sleeping here. Now this is the one that wandered, so I'm be interested to see if it fits. Oh, it's got a warm mouth. So they all drank, between the three of them, they drank about uh, 150 mils, which I think they drank already. Good mom. You know, it really does amaze me that they can lamb triplets in the dark and know, and know who they are when I turn on the lights, like, and they run away and she still accepted them, which doesn't always happen with lambing. So, these are the ones that I never give enough appreciation to. She's a good mama. Glycol for sugar, calcium for her bones and her, and her metabolic state that she's in. And uh, she's still got her appetite and she's still trying to get up. All good things. Everything I've read so far is you have like 24 hours to see improvement. So I'm still not holding my breath, but I really want to save these babies. I really want to save the you. And uh, I'm doing everything I know how to do it. Right, lady? Okay. Uh, You're welcome. It looks like she's actually starting to drop. It's hard to tell when she's laying down, but this hollowing out is uh, kind of a good sign. For lambing, I think. So, hopefully, today. No problem. Let's stand for a while. Okay, don't lean right on me. You're really heavy. no weight on this back right so I'm just trying to be like a crack. Yeah. You feel good to be out lady? This is fun man.
Well, we had a little morning exercise. So we'll do that a few times, okay? That's the most progress I've seen in almost three days. So, is there hope? I don't know. But, we'll keep trying. So I had a really interesting lunch. I had a DM come in from a good friend and someone in the industry I really, really respect. And she said she'd been watching the progress of this ewe and she's a little bit concerned it has milk fever. And that's what I have actually been wondering the last couple days because I Googled it right around and uh, her symptoms were matching just that real almost paralysis like in the back end of her back end like her muscles kind of matched what Google was saying so I texted my vet and he said our treatment is very very similar to uh, milk fever he said just increase the calcium so I now I'm giving her calcium every six hours so I'm gonna do it right now it was six hours ago when I did her last treatment and um, and then I'll do glucose as per usual like twice a day once in the morning once at night but no babies yet Someone else is lambing, starting to. Sometimes I can hear them lambing before I actually see them. So I could hear her. They have a just a different voice. <laughs> yeah, it's like a chirp, like a something's bothering her.
So I'm not going to show you the uh, lamb because YouTube won't like it. Okay, so here's the synopsis. There's only one working teat. The other one looks like uh, it had a compromised canal. There's a tiny little squirt of milk that uh, doesn't look great. The other lamb looks really good and the one looks really big but not fully formed. So the eye socket, it's got no eye, like it's eye sockets bare and then the snout is really like curved in, like almost smushed. So something's gone on with it. It looks like it died um, er, a little earlier on and yet it's, it kept growing. So I, I don't know, it's not, it doesn't look deformed like, like the ones I had in December. Hard to tell. It looks, it looks totally normal except for that. We got three more. Those are fresh. I think she's got one coming out of her. Well, it's late and Belinda came over to see the lambs and just as she got here, she's like, Sandy, I hear some lambs and we had four. So we had a set of quads. So I think this is going to be a busy lambing. She's just taking a bottle right now and uh, trying to feed them. They look like the bottle, but they're nursing mama. Well, you see. Oh. One, two. And four. She's still licking them off, which is good. I have to give her more glycol. So the U is still down. I am going to do an internal in her again. She still hasn't lambed. And uh, give her another dose of glycol. Glycol and calcium. I think I forgot to show you guys the uh, the mama that had the twins, little Dalmatian. <laughs> so that one worked out okay because she's, like I said, she's only got one working teat. I don't know really what happened with it. Hi, you're so lovely. You're a big lamb. And then the other one was stillborn uh, and not fully formed, so I don't really know what happened to that one, but this one's doing well. Yeah, of course, it's 10.30 at night and uh, she's in labor for sure. Mama, I wanted to go home and go to bed. I'm so tired. Yeah, she's just starting, I think. So, I don't know what to do. Hmm. What I might do is just close this little gate and give her her own little pen here. 
wonder if I should do that. Maybe I'll do that. Okay, I made a little pen for her. I just, I don't have a lot of energy left to try to get her from this end of the pen all the way to the lambing pens at the other end. And uh, she just likes this corner, so I blocked it all off so no lamb hopefully can get underneath any gates. So I put some gates back there, gates over here. So hopefully I didn't miss any spots, but she's just starting to labor and I just, I don't want to force, I don't want to do an internal and force labor when she's just starting. I want her to just progress on her own. She's an older you, so hopefully I don't come in in the morning and regret going home at almost 11 o'clock at night, but I've been up since four. I want to get up at four again, so that leaves me with about five hours of sleep. This is only day two and um, I don't want to get too far behind in sleep. Okay, we'll see you guys in the morning.